Today, my Mina son. Hey, everybody, it's your friend Syndicated. Look at this little plant right here. It's a little leaf that I found at the bottom of the pot. It just had fallen off, I guess, and sprouted some roots. It's a little bit dry, but I'm going to try to save it. Okay, I got this plant. It's called Graptivaria olivia. Please don't ask me how to tell the difference between Graptivaria and Aeonium and Graptopetalum. I know gra the Graptos, I think they're a little bit thicker of leaf. I'm going to research that. I'm going to study it and um, I'll have more answers for you later. Anyways, I really didn't want this plant that badly, but I did buy it because it had these little rosettes here. And you know, I'm always trying to get the most bang for my buck. So I like to find plants that I can make um, more plants out of the one so it's i'm right here just showing you how i clean it up here's another little leaf that fell down and started trying to grow so those i'm going to try to help them along i put them in uh see here's all this dead the, all these dead leaves remember i told you that to me the dead leaves are like um uh you know when you cut them off it's like trimming your hair or um cutting old fingernails off that's how i see it just an unnecessary growth of uh, dead cells. So here we go. Um, turn it around. And you see it's pretty dry. Look at how cute this little baby is. I get so happy when I see them. So yeah. Basically what I do is this. Take off the, um, the dead leaves like this. And has a lot of them. Sometimes it's hard to see because um, it's uh, the dirt is in the way. So I don't want to hurt the plant. I've seen other ways that they do this. I'll tell you right now. So I just it's dry. I didn't want to wet it because I was <laughs> doing it inside on this little um, study guide, and I just put that there to capture the dirt. There was still dirt on my table. I had to clean it. Um. All right, so the dirt is dry. I'm taking it out and trying not to disturb the roots too much. Okay, taking more off. So I'm trying to be careful. You see the little ten tentacles or tendrils? <laughs> Coming from the root. That's um, the roots, as you know, are the artery system of the plant. So um, you want to be very careful with them, not and to damage them as least as possible. So here we see that we have at least three. We have one big one, and then this little one here. I'm gonna take it. Up. I'm gonna separate it. There's a little tiny little baby leaf. More dead leaves in there. I really, I recommend that you use tweezers. Sometimes it's hard to get your fingers in there because, uh, you know, as humans, we have uh, kind of chubby fingers with little pads. But if you use um, tweezers, you can get all this little growth very, very easily. That's like a stem. That had, had produced a flower at one point. So, wow, it's all clean. Look, there's a broken, there's a couple of broken ones. I didn't break them. They were like that. As you can see, this one's already soft. This one is not soft, but I'm taking anything out that I think uh, is damaged. The only thing is that one, that one stem there, I just don't want to take it out because, um, like a flower fell off of it, but I don't know why. I just want to leave it because maybe some growth will come out a bit. Okay, here's one that I'm separating. Ta -da 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 -da. Yay! And look, it has a little bit of a root on the bottom. And also, it has aerial roots. Um, aerial roots are the roots that... Um, are thrown off by a plant um, that's not in the ground. They come off the sides or into the air. <laughs> that's why they're called aerial roots. Anyway, that's pretty self-explanatory. 
Okay, so I'm trying to remove this other one. This one didn't have such a great root system, but it is there are some roots there and I do I do believe this one is going to be successful. It's a viable specimen. I see some aerial roots there. And then here's a tiny little baby. Isn't that adorable? Wait, that's the bottom. I'm going to turn it over. Look at that. It was already um, growing off of that. How cute is that? Look at Oh, it's like a miniature. So cute. Well, that will, if you leave it alone, it'll eventually grow into a big flower. It has roots. That's what I'm showing there. So, got this nice one. Put it over there. And then I'm going to, see, there's another baby there, but I don't think I'll detach it because I want to give it a chance to grow bigger. I think the other one that I showed you, that little baby, also was one that had fallen off the side. It had to be. So I'm going to take this little appendage off because it does have some leaf growth on it. Um, normally, I've learned that if you take a stem, you need at least one leaf on there for... Um, so that it can absorb the sun and photosynthesize. But I have had success on just um, growing a stem with no leaf at all. And I'm going to make a little video of that. A really nice one over there. It's in a queveria. Well, <laughs> I say cheveria. It sounds right to me. But I heard people say it's a queveria. So I'm not going to change my way of saying it. But just so you understand if you pronounce it that way. I'll just write it out there. Pronounce it any way you like. Anyway, there is the scientific nomenclature. All right, so that's what it looks like there. Taking all the okay, and here's another uh, leaf. I put those aside. So later, I put them on a tray. I have a little plate with some uh, um, pot, not potting soil. It has peat moss, and peat moss is very uh, it's a very viable uh, type of dirt for uh, propagating leaves leaves sorry okay so I'm going to take the bottom leaves off of here because I want to give it room to possibly pop off more rosettes I am tempted also to remove the top and behead this this uh, plant but I won't and I will resist the temptation to take that little stalk off because I have hope for it so look how pretty! It's so symmetrical. And has little red tips. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye!